I'm Javier Jimenez, co-CEO of Totem, and we, ha we are a startup from Spain. Yeah, I'm Javier Perez, and I'm the co-founder with Javi, and our company is called Totem. What we do is to connect people with other people that they love the most. And we do that with jewelry. So you, you can record I love you with your voice and with that voice, that sound wave, we create jewelry. Right. Good morning, good morning. I, all right, so it's good morning here in Massachusetts. And in Spain, it's what time? It's 3, 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Um, so I record these at any time and I just post them at any time. So people are very, probably looking at there they're thinking, Wow, it's nighttime and she's posting something that was posted this morning. So I uh, <laughs> told people I don't, I don't edit. This is what it is. I want to speak to my friends and I love you guys. So I'm going to start by saying, um, how did you start this company? I mean, what was the idea and concept of one, how did you guys get together as co-founders? But what was the purpose of starting this company? Okay, so um, our friends, uh, we, we studied apart because people in Europe go to other cities to study. And Javi and myself, we started um, a university forum, let's say. So we were staying in Madrid and we were missing our friends. And we only talked in WhatsApp and chatting and it was boring. So when we finally came together, all of us, we said, wow, like feeling these energies between people is so cool. We really miss you guys. And we, we understood that we, what we missed the most was our voices. So we recorded one thing that is a silly thing that we all say in, in our group. And we saw that the sound wave was beautiful. So we asked uh, my grandfather, who is a sculptor, to create that in wood. And that's how it started. The first time was in wood. So how did you guys get together? I mean, I mean, had you known each other for years or was it just like when you met each other at school? Yeah, it was like almost the first day of university, of college. And we were in drawing class and in art class. And we start talking and after that, after one week later, we were like funding new projects and working together. It was super fast. How many people that are, how many people do you have on your team? Now we are 21. 21. Okay. So how, how many years have you been running this business? Cause you guys, I, I've said this before, you guys look like you're 12 years old. And <laughs> <laughs> you have this company. So how long have you been running the company and that you've gotten to 21 people? Yeah, we, we started with 19 years old um, and now we have been re running the business for five years. This is our six. Okay. Yeah. So we, we started like very small. We were still studying. We finished college not so long ago. So now once we finished, like we were totally focused on it. And that's when we started to really grow. Love it. What are people, I mean, why are people so attracted to hearing, I mean, go, I, mean, I mean, everyone loves jewelry. Like we, everyone loves the whole entire, like having that jewelry, it's like the essence of um, creating their own style, but why your product, why is it making sense and why has it become so popular? Uh, I think like it's super long story short, it's like uh, people uh, wear um, jewelry, not to be beauty, but because what they feel when they wear a totem because yeah. they feel the connection and they remind them to, to the other person. Yeah. So when, when they wear the voice totem, uh, there's a code that you can always go to the website and listen to what it says. So they are emotionally attached to that jewel. Not because it, it looks good that it does, but also because of the meaning of it. And what are people saying about it? I mean, like, so you have, I mean, how many clients have you had so far? I don't even know well, if you know that number, but I'm sure you do. Yeah, m more than 80,000, more like 85,000 probably. 85,000 yeah. people, um, what, in what country specifically? Yeah, 90% in Spain, but uh, we start selling in Europe due to all this coronavirus thing. And, and now the 30% of the sales are in, in Europe, Germany, Italy, France, United Kingdom. And how do they hear about you guys? I mean, I mean, you, again, you just said that you spend a lot of your time, um, a lot of your product is being sold in Spain. You're in Spain. It makes sense. You're saturating the market. But how did, I mean, how did the pandemic get you to the point where now you're growing in your, the other European countries? Yeah. 
So in yeah. December, last December, we started already selling in Germany through Facebook ads and other ads, Pinterest ads and, these, and, and also influencers. Yeah. Um, and it worked pretty well. But now with the pandemic, the cost of acquisitions of the customer have gone down a lot. So we said, okay, we're in, in Germany. We were supposed to go to France right when the pandemic started. So we said, let's continue it. And it worked, worked great, even better than we thought it would. So now we're just continuing, continuing to expand. Do you think that the, um, well, I mean, look, I'm, I'm, I'm jumping ahead myself. What did the pandemic do for you? I mean, uh, what is it like in your community? Um, how was it for you guys? Because obviously we're here, you guys are usually always together and now you're not. So how did the pandemic hurt, hurt or help your community and your business? Okay, we, we were, this year, we were growing like super high and in March, it, it, it hit uh, very hard here in Spain. So the, the sales dropped to 30%. Mm -hmm. So, and we start like in a moment of fear, like what's going to happen and how are we going to react to all this? Mm -hmm. and, and after that, we even have to thought that we have to fire some employees because we, we so that we say, okay, let's uh, bet for, for work more instead of, um, so, so all the team, we start teleworking and start working super hard. And after that, people were spending their Christmas, their anniversaries, and these special moments keep, keep happening, but people Not were Christmas. spending- Christmas is alone. Navidad, Javi. What? Christmas? No, that's in Navidad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. A birthday, Mother's Day, Mother's Day. Yeah. But, but the thing is, like, what was it that, what was that moment of you lost so much of your revenue um, and um, the, the traditional ways, I mean, again, people moving fast, they're at work, um, they're um, celebrating their, like, you know, like the weddings, etc. And now everyone's at home. What do you think was that moment of people realizing you were around and you had yeah. been for five years? So they realized that you were around now and they started purchasing and they started seeing the value. Like what was, what do you think that you yeah. did or what was it that happened? Yeah. So, okay. What happened is right the first two weeks, people were in shock and they were not spending money on anything. So that's why our sales dropped. But right after that, people were like, oh, I'm still keeping my job. We're, we're not that bad. So the sales started rising again and went super high. So what happened is we connect people, right? And with Totem, you can connect with other people in the distance. So if I wanna connect with my mother that doesn't live with me, I can send her a Totem saying, I love you, you know, and she will receive it. And that's what we think made people realize that they can connect with other people that they are missing and they cannot physically see each other. Also, we try to make, we make uh, free shipping, like if your mother is not in Spain, is in other part of the world, we ship for free and make, try to facilitate that, that part to, to help our customer to connect with, with their beloved one. Yeah. How has it been to keep your team um, positive during this entire time? Because it's, I mean, we are dealing with something that one, we've only seen in Bibles or history books. And we are um, also seeing it, it's a, it's a global situation. Um, so how have you been able to keep your team motivated, um, excited, and yet not have as many anxieties that most people would be having right now? Because the anxiety is really high for most people that are working from home and they have to go back into the workforce. And they're thinking, how am I gonna do this? I, I'm comfortable at home, I'm keeping myself safe at home, but how safe are other people keeping themselves? And I don't have time to get sick because I have family members. So what are you doing to keep your staff safe um, at this time? Yeah. So I, I go, uh, for the people that work in the office, because we have an office and also a workshop where we manufacture the jewelry, Everybody that works in the office, they are teleworking and we plan to continue teleworking until there are like almost zero cases. So theoretically we could go back to work now, but we're still keeping it from home. And the people that work in the workshop, we're uh, doing different shift turns or shifts. Mm -hmm. So they are yeah. like, instead of working all together, 
they were like this many people, then this many people, then this many people. We also bought ozone generating machines that kill the coronavirus. So we run that three times a day in different parts of the workshop and office. Okay. We keep like very high hygiene. So the, the cleaning lady comes several times a week. Um, and also respecting the anxiety that you were talking about. We are always, we have always been very open. So people have metrics, uh, life metrics day by day of how things are going. Um, luckily, we had just lifted, um, raised a, a round, a funding round, we, which we had never. But luckily, in February, we just had the, uh, <laughs> got a round. So we, we were sure that we would make it. Like we had money enough to pay the whole team for like a year and a half easily. Yeah. So everybody, like, everybody were like, okay, this is not like super, we don't have to worry so much. We have money and everybody knew. So. Yeah, but also like it is true, but there were like really panic moments um, and the point is like the team start fighting against us, you know, like a businessman and all this. And, and in these moments, it's, it's like, hey, we are in the same boat. We want to get to the same goal. And we try to be an example to work in more hours, to, to trying to co 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 coordinate the team to work as a one, not, no, not fighting between us. Because we have to increase the sales to, to continue to maintain all the works and all the employment. So once the people start realizing that, every department start working super hard to improve their, their part and do super good their, their job. And that's, uh, it's, it's working super fine. I love that you just brought that up because um, small businesses um, have different, uh, they have different problems that, than a large business. Um, obviously, a large business has a hierarchy, um, but a small business, everyone, you see everyone. You see everyone every day. Um, it's, it's your second family, and the, the arguments can happen with no problem. I mean, it's, it's natural, but when something like this has happened, the stress level is so high, and you're keeping everything in, in, in and it just takes one thing where, did you just move my stapler? And then all of a sudden, the world implodes. And so, yes, you're right, where as long as you have that open communication, which is fantastic, and you're able to, like, communicate and they're watching your example. I mean, you are the founders of this company and you have a team of all different ages. And you guys, again, you guys are very young. Um, and I've always been so impressed with the fact that um, you are able to work together as a team. Um, you've had your moments of back and forth, which I know and love, but you guys have had your moments, but you found a way to solve it. And because of that, your team of all ages um, has seen that and they're learning from you. They're seeing that you guys are real and not fake. There's nothing fake about you. And that's one of the things that I always loved from the second that I met you guys. Um, and it was, it was not only that I, I was impressed, but I was worrisome when I first met you. And I'm like, I hope they survive. I hope they survive. Oh my God. And then just to see six years later that you've done so well and you've built up your team and you've grown leaps and bounds. Um, what have each of you learned during this time or, or what skills have you added um, personally and professionally that you've added because you are in this, like, again, this crazy, crazy time of our lives. What have you learned? What have you added? What new skills are you doing? Okay, I can start. Um, professionally, I believe more in processes. I am becoming a freak of, pro of processing everything, everything and every tool and like to the extreme. And now that we are w working remotely, uh, from different parts, like the communication should be like super frictionless, friction. So, so that's my obsession now, uh, and I think it's working. And and personally, uh, because we couldn't go outside, uh, I'm spending more time with myself, meditating and doing some some of these things. So, and I'm super like more balanced, like. So, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah javi was like very into uh moving everything all of our processes to a tool called notion so props to them they built a great tool and we're really building like everything in the company uh on based on that tool so and everybody in the team loves it and 
yeah, we're centralizing everything, like tasks, um, knowledge spaces, mm, everything. Meetings. Yeah. Meetings, yeah. So, yeah, I would say um, I'm becoming even more efficient um, because you need to not waste anybody's time and try to communicate the most mm -hmm. density of information in the least time, in the most clear possible way. So um, I, I think professionally I've improved in that. And also because I'm spending so much time with myself, I'm becoming self-aware of many uh, personality traits that I have. Really? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm finding red flags like, hey, you know, like you're doing this. So because I realized that I like I had never gone to therapy and I'm go um, I started my first therapy the other day and I'm so happy. I'm learning so much about myself. <laughs> Beautiful. I, I, all right. So so that's a personal. So I have you. What are the personal things that you learned about yourself or like what new skills are you learning? For personal, mm -hmm. not professional. OK. Um, so I, I realized that I should take more time for myself before because I was in this madness um, spiral where I would wake up, get ready super uh, fast, go to work, meeting, 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 or like work, 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 then go out, uh, gym, come back. Blah, blah, blah. I would not have time for myself like to dedicate it. And now it becomes even more so evident because I'm all day long in the house. So I need to differentiate like, okay, I dress as, as if I'm going to work. Then I finish, I need time for myself. So I make time for myself. Like I read a book or whatever. So I'm learning that. Like I'm learning to find time for myself. Beautiful. Um, okay. In regards to your industry, um, what is happening in the industry right now that you're finding? Because you're in the jewelry industry. And I mean, again, we have to see it. We have to touch it. We have to be part of it. We're not um, buying, for the most part, we're not buying jewelry online. What do you think is happening? I mean, what have you seen that's happening with the industry right now? And also, where do you think it's going to go after this happens? What after? I mean, I, I, like where? What's happening to it? I mean, what's going to happen to the jewelry industry overall? Yeah. Um, so, so many times, Javi and, and me have been discussing about open a, a physical shop, um, and now we are super super glad that we didn't. Um, and to be an e-commerce is a really great opportunity for us. And also we manufacture everything in Spain, so we didn't have stock problems um, and other brands that they had. Um, so I think uh, people are um, more engaging with local brands um, and this uh, local love, it's, it's real and, and yeah. Like for me are these, these two aspects, like to be an e-commerce is super good uh, to, to this and, and the, the local manufacturing is, yeah. has been really important for, for us. Yeah, I would say uh, most uh, jewelry stores that are famous is because they became really big uh, in, in retail stores, but right now they are really struggling. Yeah. So online uh, jewelry stores, they are growing in popularity um, we, the, there, ha, there is a transition to make things as if they would look in, in real life. So uh, in, in, the, in the products, in the webpage, you, you can add videos, how do they move, when they are moved freely, how do they shine, you know? So there are videos even before there, there used to be no, no videos. And um, I think um, because we're very like in this square right here, uh, and, and mostly our face is in it. Um, I think we're going to see a shift towards earrings, necklaces, and, and face jewelry in general. And less so bracelets and other kind of jewelry. What do you mean? I can, you'd see my bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, if I had to say to you that the pandemic ended tomorrow um, and everything goes back to someone, some sort of a normal, what does your normal look like? What would your first day of our new normal look like? <laughs> it's hard to answer because like here, there, there are like four different faces. I don't know how many. So like we just, in, in Monday, we're going to the one. So that means we can move freely. But if it would be like from one day to the next, um, I would say we would consider much more teleworking, at least 
we're seeing that the team is really efficient and they are happier teleworking mm -hmm. some days. Also, they, they appreciate going to the office. They appreciate that uh, human connection. Mm -hmm. So probably like uh, inserting more telework. Only some people, like mostly coders, we allow them to telework from home some days, but I think maybe we would extend it. I don't know, we haven't talked about this. <laughs> but yeah, this can so kind of crazy, but I will spend one week with the team. And after that, I would like to travel, like, I don't know, to Indonesia, like some to, to, <laughs> to, to explore and continue teleworking because I, I, I want to, I have a travel plan and I want to, to, to do it and get out of Spain a little bit. Yeah, we were supposed to go, uh, Javi to Indonesia and me to Miami for one month each, like, uh, so here and here, but we can't <laughs> right now. I, uh, I have a friend that's in that literally left in January to be in Bali. He's like, he's, I'm just going to go and work in Bali because I, I have my computer and he's there now and he's posting these pictures. He's like one best decision that I've ever made. And two, I can work from here and it's, it was totally fine. And so the, 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 that's the moment where I'm like, I mean, not that I don't live in a fantastic place, but I'm kind of jealous when he says, and this is what I did in Bali today, and we are socially distancing. I'm like, oh, <laughs> so jealous of you. All right, so if I'm going to say, um, I'm going to ask that last question. Um, if there was an ask, a personal and professional ask that you would want to, want to tell the people that are listening to you guys today, what would be your professional ask, and what would be your professional ask from anyone that's listening that you, can, that you, that, that you want to talk to? Okay, okay. Personally, like in the personal ask is like um, now we, we are living really ups and downs and it's day you can be up and other person can be down. So it's super easy, super easy to make the day happier to a person that you love with very small detail. Like, and this is the essence of Totem, but uh, it could be like a message, uh, a video of you uh, smiling and saying, hey, I wish you a happy day. To, like try to be more emotional connected with with others and try to lift them up because when you are down they they are going to to help us so we have to keep the 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 moral up of the of all the people surrounding around us so that will be my personal ask and i don't know my professional um i i've been trying to learn new skills like i want to start developing like oh. learning javascript or meditating so all the things that you don't have time uh like try to make at least try it and give it a chance so i i will say this too love it okay so i'm gonna say one that i think applies to both personal and professional which is uh, to be resilient so in these times of radical change that we're living, I think um, the resistance to change and being able to flow with it is what makes, that, makes us go pain-free through all of these changes. And I don't mean our resilience as if like resisting and being like strong against it, but more like flowing with the change and being naturally adaptable to change. And I, I, I found that works for me well, so. I wow. love it. Go ahead. No, no, no. I just saying, wow. Like, I didn't think that. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, I, I enjoy, I mean, I enjoy both of you. I enjoy both of you so much. I mean, you're so different. And when you work together, you work so well together. And when they say opposites attract, oh my God, they're <laughs> about you guys. Because it could be any more different. And yet, you have produced the most amazing company and I have a totem and I, I, I still have to do the totem that for my dad. I've always said, I still need to do that I <laughs> yet, but I do love the one that I have from you that says, thank you. And wait, was it in English or was it in Spanish? I can't remember. Probably English. I would say yeah. it was English. When but, we were there, we were like very focused on everything in English, <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but it's just so cool that I have it and I wear it and people are like, what is that? I'm like, I go, it's thank you. They're like, what do you mean? It's thank you. And I go, this entire explanation and they stare at it and like I go hey stare here not there <laughs> <laughs> but it but it is it's, it's beautiful because um the totems create a conversation every single time I wear it 
And so it gets one of the things where I really enjoy for people. And I live on the beach and I went sw swimming with it. And I love it because it got a little bit more, I don't know, it looked, looked more antique with the, like the water was getting into it. I loved it. I was like, oh, I look even cooler now. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so very much. I mean, I, I miss you guys. I miss you guys. I miss you guys. I love yeah, you. I miss you like, too. I, so, so whenever you guys are back in Massachusetts, I can't wait to see you. But this is also great. Um, when this is all over, I want to see how, I want to see how it is. I mean, I want to see if you go to Indonesia, if you're in uh, Miami, and, or if you guys are there, or what happens for your team. I mean, I want to hear about what happens on day one of our new normal, because I think that these stories and hearing about your companies are fantastic. And I want more and more people to hear of all the great things that you guys are not just have done, but are doing, um, and how more people are being aware of that human connection is so important. So many times people are forgetting the smaller things. And I love looking out the window and seeing people in my tiny town riding their bikes versus they were driving. And I'm like, we live in a small town. Why are you, why are you driving? But people are, are riding their bikes. People are taking walks and people are really do, are appreciating the smaller things. And so I love that you guys are able to be part of the bringing people together. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so Thank much, you much for inviting us. Oh my God. You guys are awesome. And I hope to talk to you soon. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Be well, guys. Be well. Bye. Bye.